My name is Louise Alder and I'm singing Pamina in Die Taubeflöte this season at Garsington. Pamina is incredibly special. I found it a challenge but also wonderful to get my teeth into. I'm Jonathan McGovern and I'm singing Papageno in The Magic Flute of Garsington. When I was back at Music College, um, there was sort of a group of roles which I said, oh, I'd love to do this one, this one, you know, wish list. And Papageno was probably top of those. Despite being this comedic character, actually what I love about him is the amount of depth there is and nuance to actually uh, create a really, really interesting and engaging character. Because of his honesty and all these strange things that are happening all around him, is that he's, in some ways, despite being very weird, he's the most normal person on stage a lot of times. <laughs> Especially when he's surrounded by Sarastro and his whole, um, for want of a better words, coven. <laughs> You can respond to almost being like a member of the audience actually going, this is rather strange, isn't it? So that's a real gift um, that we wanted to exploit about finding things very, very surreal from a point of view of being an outsider. Um, and I think that, that enables the audience to connect somewhat with who the character is so you can really go on his journey of the thing that makes him sad and the thing that makes him happy. It's been so wonderful to be in a cast of people that I've known for years and I'm very close to. And that has been, I don't know, kind of overwhelming at times in, in a great way. Um, and uh, a lovely gift, I think, that Garsington's given all of us to work together. Lovely, Louise is brilliant, wonderful colleague, and it's incredible to think that this is her role debut in this as well. Um, for me, I mean, we get one of the most sublime pieces of music in the whole piece, and it's, it's a stunning moment. It's just two characters just honestly talking about what life's about, in their opinion, and the way that Nisha does this and plays with it. Um, I think when you've got people who are friends and great colleagues, you can do you, a duet like that just does itself. I think Nisha Jones has given me a gift in how she saw Pamina um, right from the start. She is a very feisty, strong, independent go-getter of a woman um, who is not the typical damsel in distress that Pamina sometimes can be. She's very positive in this, in this production. She doesn't sort of um, wallow in being a captive or being, you know, kidnapped. Um, and I love that. I think, for my personality, that appeals very much. When I'm backstage in the wings, I you know, often we nudge our colleagues going, this bit, this bit, this bit. Um, it's, it's full of everything. For me, the scene with Tamino and the Sprecher is one of the greatest pieces of music ever, ever written but it's uh, just this amazing treasure trove of colour and shows Mozart's genius more than anything. <laughs> 